So actinium, um, it's often said about radioactivity that you might be glowing in the dark if you work uh, with radioactive elements. By and large it's not true, however actinium is one of them which might do that because the element itself glows blue in the dark. And actinium is actually more dangerous than plutonium and plutonium was once described as the most deadly and toxic substance known to man. So it's pretty dangerous. Uh, I'll avoid it. <laughs> Have you ever had anything to do with it at all? Uh, no, because it's so dangerous. <laughs> when I was um, an undergraduate, um, I saw this book here, which was written by Seaborg, and I really liked the cover, because I think it looked really nice. And I was also quite interested about the transuranium elements, because I didn't really know much about them. And he probably more than anybody else discovered more of these elements than any, than any other scientist, probably more elements than most, if not all scientists. And he um, wrote in this book about the chemistry of the different elements. And although we consider that these are pretty radioactive and so on, they at least managed to um, isolate enough material so you could see it at the bottom of a small glass tube. It may not have been any bigger than the tip of a pin or something like that, but it's a huge amount compared to the one or two atoms that were formed of some of these elements <coughs> very near the end of the periodic table.